Now the second step is that net requirement calculation. Okay. So what is the net requirement calculation? See, here you can see there is a requirement. Okay. There are uh, some receipt element and requirement element. You can see requirement. Okay. So if you go to your MD04, in your MD04, you can see there are receipt and requirement. Can you see? Receipt and requirement. So net requirement calculation is simple, is nothing but a difference between your receipt and your requirement. Okay, now just try to understand. We are having stock of stock quantity of 13,500. But system is saying, I am having requirement of my safety stock is 500. So whenever mm. there is a requirement element, you can see negative value. Negative value is system is lagging with that much quantity. So safety stock is your requirement element. So system is saying, oh, you have 13,500, but out of that 500 going to be consumed for a safety stock. So precisely you are having 13,000 13, only. Clear team? Simple? Hello? Yes, sir. First step is clear. Now, yes. again you say, I have 13,000, but again you say, oh, wait, on 1st July, there is a LSF. LSF is what? Your plan independent requirement, PIR. How much quantity PIR you uploaded? 15,000, right? So 15,000 is going to be your new requirement and you are having only 13,000. So man, you are lagging with 2000 quantity. Okay. Clear. Again, simple calculation, mathematical plus 13,000 yeah. minus 15,000 is equal to minus 2000. Clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Again, yes, sir. Yes. again, what happened? System say, hold on, hold on. Now again, there is a 12,000. Just a minute. Let me rephrase this. Ah, sorry guys. So I was worried. We have uploaded 19,000 in MD61, right? Yeah. So our demand was 19, 15, 13, 14. Okay. So I was confused. Again back. Okay. 13,000 was, this was clear up till now. Then again, what we say? 13,000 is with you positive value, but again, there is a new requirement of 19,000. So you are lagging with minus 16, 6,000 quantity. Okay. Okay, that is your requirement element. Again, there is order. Order is nothing but sales order. There is a sales order of 12,000 quantity. Okay. Mm. Again, you are going to be have a lag. Okay. So what happened? System after taking MRP, the system say, okay, hold on. Let me create this 6,000 component. Calculate with the 6,000. Okay. System created 6,000 calculation. Now this 12,000 has been fulfilled, guys. This is not getting valid. Okay. Let me check why this is happening later on. But now again, you are having PIR of 15,000 quantity here. You say I have a requirement of 15,000 and you are going to create a plan order. Now, what is the plan order? If you click this plan order and convert into the production order, it is going to add the stock to your quantity. Yes or no? Mm. Hmm? Yeah. So again, you will have positive value. Again, here you are having 13,000 requirement for which after MRP run system have created PIR is converted into plan order. See, if you remember here we talk, your plan independent requirement are converted into plan order and plan order further converted into production order. The same thing we are talking over here. This PIR of 13,000 is get converted after MRP into the plan order and the plan order is your receipt element. The value which is positive is received and the value which is negative that is a requirement. Clear? Okay. So what is your net requirement calculation? So the system calculates the plan stock for all storage location which belongs to the plant which is not ex excluded from the material planning are planned separately okay so what is system going to calculate unrestricted stock stock quality inspection and everything okay so system will create consider all stock and then what system will do the net requirement calculation is carried out in mrp in the planning file run okay after the planning file check and at plant level so this is going to happen at plant level the net requirement calculation is the second step that is the system execute during the procurement of planning product. Okay. So system is going to check what is your uh, required element requirement. So what are the requirement element? So sales order, plan independent requirement, or your reservations and so on. And even your safety stock is your requirement. So that is the reason the PIR sales order, everything is having negative indicator. Clear. Okay, Tim. And yes. your stock this this left side okay is going to be your lot size fixed receipt fixed receipt means purchase requisition or plan order or purchase requisition which are firm like this plan order okay we don't have purchase requisition 
because this is finished good okay so we are having plan order so those value is positive so this is your receipt element receipt means which is going to increase your stock requirement which is going to reduce your stock simple okay clear so that to cover the identify shortage quantity shortage quantity means what what is your requirement and what is your receipt they will do comparison that is plus minus calculation okay mm. that is simple mathematical calculation the system check whether it is possible to cover a requirement with the plant stock okay whatever stock you are having this is a plant stock with this plan are you able to cover the requirement up till now this was okay but here oh we are lagging with 6000 quantity so you are not your stock is not capable to handle the requirement it is going beyond that okay within the stock plant or fixed receipt already planned fixed receipt this fixed receipt are coming okay then later on you are going to manage and your stock is going to become zero okay no no question in that okay in the case of shortage the system create the procurement proposal now this procurement proposal means what system will create a plan order that is in house procurement manufacturing of products uh, finished good and procurement element for raw material it, if it is a uh, raw material for which we are taking mrp run system might have created a purchase requisition for this okay clear team any question on this Let yeah. calculation. simple it is a difference between requirement element and receipt element you might get a simple basic question on interview what is the what are the requirement element in md04 in this md04 what is the requirement element so your lsf safety stock sales order okay then stock transfer or request coming from other plant all these are going to be your requirement element against which plan order purchase requisition form for production purchase order are going to your receipt element receipt element is nothing but which is going to increase your stock okay and requirement element is going to reduce your stock clear because we are saying we are having demand the md 61 we have uploaded 19,000. So 19,000 we have to sell to the customer. We are not just creating this demand to just increase the stock, but from this stock, we want to sell it, right? So that is going to reduce your stock. Okay. Like, sir. Yes. Uh, like you said, uh, uh, you can see here, like on 13, uh, uh, one, uh, sorry, uh, one top seven a month, like uh, 19, uh, 19K, hmm. like uh, the receipt. Hmm. And uh, 6k, this is the shortage. Hmm. Correct. Uh, that means that mean 13k is uh, as uh, this is the available quantity in the plant. Right. You can see this is the 13k is available yes. over here, right? Yes. And uh, after that, uh, 19k again receipt requirement. Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, then uh, 6k is uh, to be to to be produced or to be. Yeah, like there is a lagging eight, quantity. But, you need you yes. are lagging with six thousand minus six thousand quantity. Yes, that is the meaning yes. of it, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Dim. Okay, uh, so next meeting I will share the invite again. Okay, we'll connect on that. Okay, it is going to close this call. Okay, I will share the invite on chat. Uh, okay, WhatsApp. Please join over there. Okay, immediately I'm sharing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye.